screen. So um, I'll read this one today. This is the song of the angels. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And all the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For up to you this day, in the city of David, the Savior is born, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Amen. The candle of peace. The first Sunday of Advent, we lit the prophecy candle in our Advent wreath. It is also called the candle of hope. We light it again today as we remember Jesus, who was born, Christ and King. And we remember that he will come again to fulfill all of God's promises to us. The second Sunday of Advent, we lit the Bethlehem candle, the candle of love. We light it again today as we remember that Christ, who was born in Bethlehem, has come as Savior and Redeemer. The babe of Bethlehem has come out of love to bring redemption. Last Sunday, we lit the third candle of Advent. It is the shepherd candle, the candle of joy. When the angel Gabriel told Mary that a special child would be born to her, she was filled with joy. She sang a song that began with the words, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. The fourth candle of Advent is the candle of peace, represented by the angel who proclaimed peace to the shepherds. Peace is a word that we hear a lot. It is one of the things we hope for. Christ brought peace when he first came to us, and he will bring everlasting peace when he comes again. The prophet Isaiah called Christ the Prince of Peace. When Jesus came, he taught people the importance of being peacemakers. He said that those who make peace shall be called the children of God. We light the candle of peace to remind us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and that through him, peace is found. Peace is like a light shining in a dark place. As we look at this candle, we celebrate the peace we find in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the peace you gave us. We ask that as we wait for all your promises to come true, and for Jesus Christ to come again, that you will remain <coughs> present with us. Help us today and every day to worship you, to hear your word, and to do your will by sharing your peace with each other. We ask it in the name of the one who was born in Bethlehem. In Jesus' name, amen.